the early Rogan days were fucking fascinating because, you know, when you talk about Tosh doing radio, that was all we really understood. Hmm. And Joe was not having it. So when you tried to do bits, he would shut it down. My first Rogan appearance, you could, I mean, it would be cool to see a highlight reel of me trying to do bits on him because <laughs> I was. I was like, oh, yeah, because I, I didn't know what – no one knew what a podcast was, right. especially the way Joe does it. So you, I would be interested to, to clip him out. I, I was like, I fought a bear one time, and he was like – what uh what what region was the bear from? And you're like, I'm, I thought, a, I don't know what region it was from. And he was like, well, wait, why would you? And it was like a very thoughtful <laughs> conversation. And then you real, I realized, I realized within 20 minutes, this is not radio. Yeah. And so, and I realized that the best thing you could do was listen to Joe sometimes. Yeah. To try to respond to him. Yeah. It's, it's why today I don't feel like I'm that great when I do Rogan because it's it's a lot of it. I feel like I'm just catching up with a friend, and I, I don't know if it's entertaining as a podcast. I, I feel like you're just hanging out with your buddy. Well, maybe that's the camaraderie people want. Maybe they're alone. And maybe they're working from home. They haven't seen anybody that day. And it's it what I used to love like, about it. I yeah. used to love it. So I get offered to do Rogan. I remember saying to Ari. Because I didn't trust celebrities. I, I'd gotten in a fight with a, a – I'd gotten in beef with a comic, and I just didn't trust him. I said to Ari and Redman, I said, so, like, what's, what's what's Joe's thing? Is he gay? And they're like <laughs> – what? I was like, I thought he was gay. Because I was like, why would he want me to come to his house? And, like, what's his deal? And, like, no, he's just a great guy. I go, no, 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 no. They all got something. What is it? And then they're like, no, he's just a good guy. He thinks you're funny. Like, do his podcast. So I go <laughs> – Oh, yeah. I thought everyone was gay. <laughs> I thought Elliot Gould was gay. Anyone? Oh. Will Smith. I thought Will Smith was gay. I thought and anyone that wanted to be friends with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyone that wanted to be friends with me, I just figured they were gay and they wanted to fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> and so I literally was like, went to his house. The most going, likable guy on the planet. <laughs> you can't fathom that somebody's like, I'd like to just be around you and like no. tell stories. They just no. want dick. Yeah. And, but I was a fan of Joe's. I was like a legit fan of Joe's. Okay. And so I go out to his house. I do the the worst thing you could ever do when you meet Joe. Now I know this. Okay. I go, hey, man, huge fan. I want to meet your dogs. I want to see your deprivation tank. I want to get high. I want to play pool. And then we can do the podcast. And Joe is like, uh, okay. So he takes me out and introduces his dogs. Uh, we get high. We play pool. Shows me his deprivation tank. Meet his wife. Meet his kids. Do a podcast. And and I'm I'm trying to do bits and it's not working and then I'm like, okay, and then I just go into like just going. If you ask me a question, I'll respond to the qu question, <laughs> which is like what we do now, but yeah. it just was not what happened in yeah. media. And so uh, I wish people knew what early radio days for comics were. Oh, because oh. that what you're explaining makes so much sense. But if you ever know watched if know Comics it. Unleashed, yeah, where the guy the comics yeah. just go around and do their bits in a circle, that was radio. That they was tee you up with the premise of your yeah. joke. I did Bob and Tom back in the day, and you had to write out your bits. You had to write them out. Yeah, yeah. And so I wrote out all my bits, and then you gave them to him. And like, so, uh, you ever go to Russia? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, you're, I, I'm married. Are you married, Bert? And you'd be like, oh, here we go. And so, but it was Bob, Bob and Tom was fun back, and that was all you sure. knew. Yeah. So, and this is Rogan, you do it in an office. I think he had a cat that would like take shits in the bathroom in the middle. It was in his office. And and Joe was rich, but he wasn't Joe Rich today. Yeah, yeah. Like Joe was like, and then and he would have you do this vlog after the podcast, which is so awkward. Like Brian will pull out his his laptop and go, All right. And Joe's like, What's up? I just did a great podcast with Bert. So Bert, what's going on? And you'd be like, Not much, Joe. It was so fucking bad. You can find those clips, I'm sure. And Joe had black facial hair and he still had hair. He still had hair. But he wore his hat backwards because he's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and so you get done the podcast, and then he'd be like, you want to go get something to eat? And so, like, it was, like, it was crazy. You know, he was also banned at the store at the time. Yeah, that's right. So, like, that's he would right. do shows at the Ice House. So then, uh, so I, <laughs> the first time I do it, I, I think in my head, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I can't do bits here, but I, I do have that, this Russian mafia story by, that I bet would be good on this show, because... And so I go, hey, man, next time I'm here, remind me to tell you the Russian Mafia story. Like a week fucking later, he's like, hey, come tell the Russian Mafia story. So hmm. like, I'm, 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 I'm sure I'm off on timelines, but I come back, I think a week later, and he's like, everyone's wondering about this Russian Mafia story. And I tell it, and I got to be honest with you, it bombed. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, yeah. It, 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 sometimes 
I hope I'm not pulling the veil back too back. Sometimes Joe and Red Band will be fighting. And so you'd go in to do the podcast. There'd be some tension. And the, the whole thing would be them just, Joe being angry at Red Band because Red Band <sighs> is saying buttholes and Olive Garden the whole time. And Joe's like, Brian, you got to realize people are fucking listening to this. And then you'd just be sitting off to the side, like, watching them go back and forth. And then be like, duh. You guys want to try some Alpha Brain? <laughs> and by the way, this is when Joe's launching Alpha Brain. This is when they're launching on it, right? So he'd give you the, the his vitamins. He'd yeah. load you up with his vitamins, give you a flashlight, and then be like, take those Alpha Brains. Tell me what you think about them. And then you'd take them, and in a real scientific way, because they, they promoted, uh, uh, what's the, dr uh, lucid dreaming. Mm. Mm. Uh, and so you, and, and I, I'm, a, I'm an active lucid dreamer to begin with. And so you'd come back and he'd be like, so you took Alpha Brain? And you, this would be on the podcast. <laughs> and he'd, be like, he'd be like, yeah. And he'd go, so wait, what did you feel? Like, he, you know, the Joe analysis part of his brain. And he'd do that on the podcast about his own pills because he was trying to figure out if he liked them. And he's like, I love the Alpha Brain. I'm taking like nine a day. I go, I took one, Joe, I couldn't sleep. And he was like, no, oh, what did you take the uh, cortisone mushrooms, the uh, <laughs> roll on, roll off, whatever the fuck. It was like, it was really... Uh, it was really interesting, and then the the first time I did Rogan, I remember getting in the car and I had three thousand Twitter followers extra, oh, and I was wow. like, I was like, oh, wow. wow. Second time I did Rogan, I told the machine story, and I went to the club and it was sold out, comped but sold out, and then and then I watched it, and and I and then the third time I did Rogan, I made a machine shirt, the machine shirt that I, I used to sell shows. I got home to my house and Leanne goes, the fuck. We just sold $25,000 worth of T-shirts. Oh, she goes, I wow. don't have those made. Woke up the next morning, she goes, we sold $90,000 worth of T-shirts in like two days. We had made six figures in those T-shirts by the end of the year, by like in three months. Jesus. I think we did that, must have been in November. By the end of the year, we made six figures in those wow. machine shirts. Joe wore it at a weigh-in. Boot, you'd no. see huge fucking spikes, huge fucking spikes. I'd go, to, I'd go to different countries. I remember I was what in Amsterdam, guy, and they were yelling, the machine in Amsterdam. And I was like, what the fuck? And then, uh, I mean, so so it's funny. You just get high and talk for three hours and not remember any of it yeah, a, yeah. at all. And uh, it's crazy to see where he is today. And, and to, like I just did it the other day, and I'm like, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't make sense to me that I remember, I remember I did it one time and I got really fucked up, and I, I might have said that uh, America created COVID. Or something. I don't know what I said. Who fucking knows what I said? But they, they took the episode down no way. and then put it up in two parts. No, no, <laughs> and they, they clipped out the thing I said. I don't know. I'm terrified to ask Joe because I know that there's some parts missing. And I was like, hey, man, did I say some regrettable stuff on your podcast? Yeah, right? He was like, ah, fuck it. Fuck it. We're all saying fucked up shit. Yeah. It was, it was great, man. It's great. I'm bummed that you guys didn't get to experience that side of the show. Yeah. Because it was the fun when, like, Joey Diaz, like we just, I mean, one of the hardest I ever laughed was Joey Diaz just rolled. I never met him. So my, this is the opening words of meeting Joey Diaz. He, we're doing, we used to do desk squad nights at the Ice House. We're like, it was like nine, com five comics on the podcast with Joe and we just do it and we'd do a show and so we'd hop on and off. So we'd go in and do a set and then come back to the podcast and everyone would be fucked up. Mm. And Joey Diaz comes in. I never met him and he's like, he's like, dog. You ever, eat a, you ever eat a woman's pussy on a quaalude? And I was like, no. And he goes, Lucy Snowbush. And we, <laughs> oh, you ever break into someone's house and eat the pussy on a quaalude? <laughs> Lucy Snowbush. And we <laughs> cried fucking laughing. And, and then I found out it's the hardest I've ever fucking laughed. And one of the top five hardest I've ever laughed. And Joe goes, you've never met Joey before? And I go, no. And he goes, well, you're about to be your best friend. Oh. And Joey Diaz and I, from that day on, Joey lived right around the corner from me. If we ever did that show, we'd drive out together. Those were the days, man. I, I miss those days so yeah. much. Because you would. it was so, it was like, you guys don't understand when comics hated each other. They used to hate each other. Comics hated each other. No one wanted anyone to see. We started succeed. in that. Yeah. yeah. And I think this still exists. Oh, yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I think this still exists, but I think that you guys did something 
they really transform the way that we behave with one another. And it's like, it's pretty awesome. That's Joe. Yeah. That's Joe. I mean, well, I think- it trickles down, man. I always say that, like what Joe does for you guys, for me, it's like what we do made for other people. But I remember before I met you, yeah. you tweeted about bring back a poo. And I just thought it was so fucking cool that yeah. the machine is tweeting, yo, this is a great special. Everybody go watch it. Well, yeah, but I have a, it's the same thing that makes me say I'm lucky instead of talented is I have, a, I love being a fan of shit. I, I've said this ad nauseum. Yeah. But I like liking stuff. Yeah. It's, I don't understand the energy of disliking stuff. I don't understand that energy at all of like hating things. Yeah. I love liking stuff. And it makes comedy, so, this business so much more fun to be a fan of your friends. Yeah. And to love when like- You when, got when, abundance, when man. When you, I, it was so much fun when you did, uh, when you put out Infamous, it was so much fun to celebrate your success, it was so much fun. I don't know, it's, it's, but if you're a fan of it, yeah, yeah, and and as opposed to and as opposed to, and I'm sure those comics are out there. I do not hang out with them. The guys that are like, "Fuck Schultz, fuck Schultz," you know that that's bullshit, or you know whatever, I, all that stuff. It's so much fun to go look at this. Yeah. He's changing the game. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, it's on YouTube. Was it a fucking thirteen million? Yeah, 15. 15, 15 million. Yeah. It's imagine. If you get to pick a team, I want to be the guy that has fun or the guy that goes to bed angry every night. Yeah, well, I'm never going to pick the angry guy. I don't want to be that guy. Close. There's Wise. guys that make a living doing that. There are guys online that make a living doing that. Yeah. I want to be the guy that goes, fuck yeah. By the way, I can celebrate the guys that hate me also because I go, that's got to be cool to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> what a fucking weird episode. I've never done a podcast like this in my fucking life. Good. 